Pterodactyl here, and I got a real oddity for you today. And you're not gonna wanna miss this one, Grass Rats. So stay tuned. Buried deep within corners of decaying mower shops, ancient relics lie. Peculiar artifacts left behind, baffling even today's most experienced repairman. What lies beneath the surface of dust and filth will leave you dumbfounded. Enigmatic, perplexing, and unusual items. Small engine pundit, pterodactyl, takes you through lawnmower mysteries and oddities. Okay, grass rats, today's oddity is Spinstar. Have you ever seen this? Check this out. So back in the late 70s, early 80s, before they went to that bale start where you had to pull the bale back to start the lawnmower, somebody came up with this idea to electrically start your non-electric start lawnmowers called spin start. And you can tell it's from the late 70s, early 80s by the lovely woman that's in the photo. Look at how she's dressed. And there's no bail on that mower. So this is how it works. You would buy this kit and it would come with a sticker and everything and all the different flywheel nuts, screens, the cup, and this little rubber adapter that you would put into a drill so you could start your mower. And again, they're always showing women in here to make it easy for the women to start. And then they show the different brands of lawnmowers or lawnmower engines that you could adapt this to. This is the original brochure that we got from South Ham and Chuck. And on the back page, Shows you the different engines that you could use this on. So a lot safer method than like a lot of people do where they want to start it with a socket to spin the motor over where people had broke their arms trying to start them with a drill with a socket or the socket would fly off and hit you in the head. So we actually have one of these spin starts, which we got from another grass rat, friend of ours, Tom Herring. He had one of these. He's a good friend of mine. So we're gonna install this on a mower, and we're gonna start, we're gonna spin start it. It's not like spin class, it's spin start. All right, I've got the spin start mounted to this antique lawn boy. And of course, this isn't the correct one for this model lawn boy, but I do have it mounted to it, just to show you that it's gonna work. Turn it on, prime it. a nifty idea but I think back then they didn't have cordless drills then so you had to use a corded drill so you were still tied to a cord so the difference between using say a socket hooked to a drill is different is this socket is locked onto that nut so what happens is when the engine starts you have the potential to have this thing lock onto that and could possibly kick back and break your wrist, which has happened to some people, or the socket may fly off the end of the tool that you have 
and could possibly hit you in the head or somebody that's standing by. So the idea behind this is you've got this rubber cone which is locked onto the drill. So once you start it, you know, you can just pull the drill away so there's no chance of you getting hurt other than maybe sticking your foot under the lawnmower while it's starting because they had no bail, safety bail. But it's supposed to be a safer way of electrically starting your lawnmower. So let's start this lawnmower. Now again, this isn't the right setup for this because this is kind of dangerous with that thing spinning around. You know, as I went to shut it off, you know, that thing can cut me like a knife. But I only did this just to show you how this spin start worked back in the day. This is a, something that they would sell. And then later on, in the early 80s, they came up with that safety bail that you would have to pull back and pull it to start it. Zone start, they would call it, because you're in the zone right here. But before that, when these mowers didn't have those type of safeties on it, somebody came up with this idea called spin start. So basically how this thing works is you have this adapter that mounts to the flywheel of your lawnmower and it's kind of got a beveled cone shape to it and you have this cone shaped rubber adapter which is all one piece and it's at a taper so that way as you push on it you know it makes contact so it'll spin it over but yet you can pull it off of there right away and it would electrically start the lawnmower you know, and the electric part is the drill. So it just fits in there. You push down on it. And then you can pull it away safely without it injuring you like a socket would. If you were to use a socket adapter onto your drill. Spin start. I'm Dean Kane. I mean pterodactyl for lawnmower mysteries and oddities. And there's your dinner. Lawn mysteries and oddities.